The Leviathan's Breath is a heavy, exotic bowl which comes on the 22nd of October. The bowl will be locked behind a quest and today we check out all stages of said quest and what's needed to unlock this bowl. Spoilers may lay ahead depending on what you consider a spoiler. How's it going guys? My name is DPJ and I'd like to thank you for stopping by and checking out my video. If you do enjoy it, leaving a like truly helps out and subscribe if you want more Destiny 2 videos. Before we step any further, credit to you, My Life Crisis for putting these quest steps together for me. Link to his channel can be found within the video description. If you like your secrets, mysteries and so forth surrounding D2, he's probably your best man for content on said topic, so go show him some love. So the Leviathan's bow is a heavy bow which we have seen minor footage on, mainly from the Vidoc we got way before Shadowkeep was released, but it was a work in progress exotic at that stage. We can see it within our collections now and what this thing will offer, so let's check that out. Its intrinsic is called Big Game Hunter, fires a massive heavy bolt that staggers unshielded enemy combatants, strong against unstoppable champions. It has chain bolt string, fiberglass arrow shaft and leviathan sigh. When fully drawn the bolt creates a large concussive blast that knocks enemies back. So yeah it sounds quite cool. So how is this obtained? So upon the 22nd of October waiting for you in the tower will be a quest with Banshee. So head to him and pick it up. The first step is called the back way. Banshee wants to give you a weapon stored in his workshop but he didn't specify how to get in. Locate the hidden entrance to Banshee's workshop and find the weapon. Banshee said Cade knew about some secret entrance. If it were up to me, I'd say we start looking in the hangar. It's where Cade spent all his time. This is that hidden room we see within the tower where we actually see this bolt, first covered by more console. So this will be the room we have to locate. Once we do, the next step is called, where are the keys sir? You found a bolt in a display case in a room that's got to be Banshee's workshop. Problem is, the case is locked. Return to Banshee to complain. So the next step from here is called Intro to Safe Cracking 101. You need a rotating key cord to access the bowl in Banshee's workshop, but the original has been lost. You'll have to generate a new code, following the same steps that Banshee did. First on Banshee's list is to get out into the field and seed a key generator with combat data. See data for a new key code by completing Gambit matches or Vanguard strikes. Gambit Prime matches and Nightfall strikes grant the most efficient progress. You will need 100 data pieces generated for this step by the way people. So I'm guessing it will be percentage based and like it says Nightfalls and Gambit Prime matches will grant the most efficient progress. So after you've done this step the next step is called Advanced Safe Cracking 201. The key generator is seeded with viable combat data and it can now output key codes. But to constrain the possible set of generate codes, Ghost says you'll need to provide the generator with some more targeted data, literally. Use a bow to land precision final blows against Vex or Cabal. You will need 75 targeted data for this people. So when you are done here, the next step is called Economics of War. The key generator just needs a little more data before you're ready to return to Banshee for final authentication. To further limit the possible codes the generator can create, you'll need to recreate the conditions under which Banshee programmed the first codes, fighting Red Legion forces during the Red War. Complete an epic reprise of Strike, the arms dealer in the European Dead Zone on Earth. So that's what you'll have to do people, so after you've done the harder version of the arms dealer Strike, the next step is called Applied Crypto Security. You've completed all the necessary collaborations on the key generator. The only thing remaining is a biometric authentication from Banshee. Return to Banshee 44 in the tower. With the final step of collecting the bow from Banshee called Martial Archery 401, this exotic heavy bow, the Leviathan's Breath, will now be yours. And guys, that is it. This was a little early insight into how this exotic bow will be obtained when it lands on the 22nd of October which isn't too far away people. Now with this heavy exotic bow the Leviathan's Breath being able to knock enemies back, I'm getting flashbacks of Atheon in Water Class in Destiny 1 knocking him off the map. But on that note we have come to the end of the video guys. If you enjoyed it leaving a like really helps out. If you're new around here and want to see more daily Destiny 2 videos be sure to subscribe and if you never want to miss a video or upload you can turn notifications on by hitting that bell button. But guys thanks as always for stopping by, hopefully you enjoyed the video and hopefully I will see you on that next one.